Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this weekend, Filip Hergovic makes his return to the ring on the undercard of Devin Haney versus Yuriorkis Gamboa. Filip Hergovic is going to be fighting American journeyman Rydell Booker. Rydell Booker is a 39-year-old with a record of 26 wins and 3 defeats. He's never actually been stopped. He fought James Tony back in 2004. After that James Tony fight, he actually got sent down to prison for a few years. After prison, he came back and basically, you know, got himself a career as a journeyman in the heavyweight division. He's actually fought Jermaine Franklin, which he lost on points, who's a prospect. And he also fought Kubrat Pulev, who is obviously a world-level contender, and he lost that fight on points. So Rydell Booker has never been stopped. He is durable, and he can look after himself in there. You know, um, got some crafty moves, decent defense, kind of awkward. He can definitely look after himself. So it's going to be interesting to see how Filip Hergovic looks against someone like Rydell Booker, you know. Filip Hergovic, for me, is one of the better prospects in the heavyweight division, and I do rate him highly. I expect him to go far. But one thing I've noticed in regards to Filip Hergovic in the past, I would say, 12 months maybe, the hype for him, I would say, has died down a fair bit. When the guy turned pro, there was a fair bit of hype around Filip Hergovic, but the inactivity and lack of step-ups has kind of dampened that excitement for Filip Hergovic. Now, while Rydell Booker doesn't indicate a step-up in class for Filip Hergovic, I think it's imperative in this fight that Filip Hergovic looks good and makes a statement. Obviously, like I said earlier, this guy's never been stopped. So stopping this guy would be ideal for Filip Hergovic, and it would be somewhat of a statement when Kubrat Pulev couldn't knock this guy out, and he's fighting for a world title in his next fight. So yeah, I think a knockout in this fight for Filip Hergovic is important. I don't think he can afford to look lackadaisical or, you know, labour in this fight. He really needs to look good and make a statement, basically. And yeah, while I rate Filip Hergovic highly, I think he needs to look a lot more dynamic in this fight. To me, like, Filip Hergovic reminds me of a less dynamic Vitaly Klitschko. He's got a similar sort of stance, leans back and sort of throws the jab out there looking for that right hand. He's got a similar stance to Vitaly Klitschko and a, and a similar style in a sense, but without the dynamic attack of Vitaly Klitschko. He doesn't have the foot speed of a Vitaly, doesn't have the combination punching or attacking at angles like Vitaly did. You know, um, so yeah, I I see the Vitali Klitschko comparisons with Filip Hergovic, but he's a lot more, I would say, stiff. I guess he's a lot more stiff than Vitali Klitschko. So in this fight, I want to see Hergovic mix it up a little bit more, be a bit more dynamic, and like I said, really make a statement against Rydell Booker. And hopefully, after this fight, we then see Filip Hergovic really start to step up and climb his way through the heavyweight rankings. You know, fight genuine top 15 guys sort of thing. That's what I want to see from Filip Hergovic after this fight. Because like I said, to me, his progress in the last 12-18 months hasn't been as rapid as I would have imagined. Obviously, that is partly due to the so-called pandemic. But yeah, even taking that away, I just expected a little more from Filip Hergovic. So hopefully he makes a statement against Rydell Booker. And funnily enough, on the same card, there's actually another heavyweight fight going down between Zili Zhang, the Chinese heavyweight prospect, and Devin Vargas, the American journeyman. I would expect Zili Zhang wins that fight. And to be honest, I don't really rate Zili Zhang all that highly. You know, the Chinese southpaw heavyweight, I don't think he's all that good. But, you know, if Zili Zhang wins, you know, that could be a good opponent for Filip Hergovic. Zili Zhang is unbeaten. I believe he's ranked by at least one of the sanctioning bodies. So yeah, Zili Zhang, I think that'll be a good opponent for Filip Hergovic, providing both guys get through their next fights. Though I have to say, I think Eddie Hearn is saving Zili Zhang for a potential Anthony Joshua fight out in China. That's the impression I get from Eddie Hearn in regards to Zili Zhang, and if that is true, they are not going to put Zili Zhang in with anybody dangerous, because like I said, the guy is not all that good to be honest. They could be saving him for Joshua, but... I would like to see Zili Zhang versus Filip Hergovic next, if both guys win their next fights. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of Filip Hergovic's next opponent? How do you expect him to look? Yeah, what are your thoughts? Share them below. Peace.